he said, have you got any of them pushing it out? And he said, have you any of those head off that were green and yellow fellas? He was from West. <laughs> He said, yeah, yeah, he's here with us some budgies. He said, how much are the little beggars? How much are the little beggars? He said, ten pounds. He said, ten pounds. He said, ten pounds. He said, how many have you got? He said, got a hundred. Wait, he said, I'll take a lot. So he put a grand on the counter. He said, put him in an old cardboard box with some holes in his head, and uh, I'll take him back with him. And when he got home, he had this beautiful waistcoat night. Oh, Frank, you're beautifully turned out. But this, <laughs> uh, a wait, the lovely, it was on cut milkettes. It started here on the shoulders and then right down to his ankles. And it was, you've seen Joseph and his technical, it was nice and nice. And all the way down, they had these pockets. There was two pockets here, two pockets, two pockets, two pockets, two pockets. And he put a little budgie in every pocket, see? I put every pocket, every, yeah, every pocket had a little budgie in. And a curious little bird, you know, like lovely little things. They kept popping their little heads out and, and waggling their little beaks. You do it for me, Derek. <laughs> he got on the train at Liverpool and uh, went down to London. Got up at Euston, walked all the way to the post office tower, climbed to the top and jumped off. The waistcoat, the budgie in from Liverpool to London, walked, trudged all the way to the GPO tower, clambered his way to the very, very, very top, and hurled himself into space. He just went <laughs> on the deck. One of his pals rushed up. He said, Paddy, Paddy, what the hell are you trying to do? Oh, hey, you can't tell you one thing, he said. That budgie jumping is a waste of time. <laughs> Scotland's answer to Les Patterson. 